Hello, students and parents. If we haven't met before, my name is Jana Williamson, or Miss Jana, as my students call me. And today, I'm just going to go over all of the terms in the flashcard deck from Piano Safari Level 1. I will link to this flashcard set in the description below this video if you do not already have this free PDF that Katherine Fisher and Julie Haig have put out as part of the Piano Safari Level 1 curriculum. So to start, our very first flashcard looks like this note. And this is called a quarter note. When we see this, we say ta. Um, quarter notes get one beat most of the time. This note without col being colored in is called a half note. And when we clap or tap this one, we say ta two. It usually gets two beats. These notes with the beam going across are called eighth notes. It's a little bit of a hard word to say, eighth notes. And for eighth notes, we clap and say ta ti. You oftentimes have a lot of eighth notes in a row. Ta ti, ta ti, ta ti, ta ti. Two eighth notes together are the same as one quarter note, one beat. The little lines on this flashcard are bar lines, and the big one at the end that's double is a double bar line. So bar line and double bar line in between bar lines is called a measure. This is a repeat sign, and you probably know you just play it again. Allegro, repeat after me, allegro. Allegro means fast. Moderato, say moderato. Moderato means moderately or a medium speed. This is a whole note. When we clap this, we say ta, two, three, four, and it gets four beats. This little piano like this, sorry, this little P stands for piano, which means quiet or soft. This is a symbol for a glissando, glissando going up. This is a symbol for a glissando going down. This is two black keys and C, D, E. Three black keys, F, G, A, B. Now we're just gonna look at some individual notes. You can also practice these with lots of games. This note in between two black keys is D. Here we have E. What's this note? C. How about this one next to three black keys? F. This one is A. This one on the top of three black keys is B. And this last one here is G. Retardando is usually abbreviated RIT. Retardando means gradually slowing down. We have a lot of retardandos at the end of pieces. This with five lines is called a staff. Music goes on a staff. This note is in between two lines. I teach my students to do this with their hands to make a line on the top of their head and a line under their chin. That means this is a space note. But this note has a line going right through its ears, so it is a line note. This is treble clef, and it, it helps keep the notes that are up high in the upper range. Usually we play that with our left, right hand, sorry, not always. This is bass clef, takes care of notes in the lower range, and usually we play in the bass clef with our left hands. This note is treble G. This note is bass C. These two notes are taking turns line to space, and so they are a second. And because they are going one at a time, it's called a melodic second. This is a second also, but they're sitting right on top of each other. So that's a harmonic second. 
So to go back to the first one, this one would sound like this on your piano. And this one we would play right together and would sound like this. MF stands for mezzo forte, and that means medium loud. AVA or 15 MA tell us to move up higher on the piano. AVA means play one octave higher than written and 15 MA means play two octaves higher than written. You see these in lots of your pieces to move around from different places on the piano. 8VB or 15 MB mean go down. So 8VB means play one octave lower than written and 15 MB mean, means play two octaves lower than written. Andante means walking tempo. Non legato means not legato or not connected. DC al fine means go back to the beginning and end at the fine. Fine, you can remember, means finished. So that's the end. This is a whole rest, and you rest for the whole measure. This is a quarter rest. It's a rest that takes up the time for one quarter note or one beat. This is a dotted half note. And when we see this one and we're clapping, we say, ta, two, three. It gets three beats. This symbol goes underneath your music when you get a little bit bigger, and it's a pedal mark. It means put the pedal down while you play. These three notes have a curvy line under them, and that means to play legato. It also can be a phrase marking, which we'll talk about when you're playing harder music. But when you see that, that marking, you want to play connected or smoothly. Here we have another melodic second. I don't know why it came up again, but there it is. Now we have a melodic third. These notes are not taking turns line and space. They are going space note to space note. So they are a third and they sound like this. Now here I have two more notes that are a third space to space, but they are sitting on top of each other. So they sound like this. That's a harmonic third. Here's another third, a melodic third. Sounds like this. That's a melodic third. And here's another harmonic third. Harmonic third. Adagio means slow. Repeat after me, adagio. That is a slow tempo. Here's our half rest. We rest for two, so we say rest two. It gets two beats of silence. F stands for forte, which means loud. MP stands for mezzo piano, which means medium quiet or medium soft. These two notes have that curvy line again. That's a slur, and the slur tells you to play legato. Two Fs, FF stands for fortissimo. Say fortissimo. Fortissimo means very loud. I hope this is helpful. Have fun playing all your pieces. Good luck with all your piano lessons.